Yes, yes, y'all know what it is, man. It's the Earn and ISO show. If you don't know now, you know we back at it. Your favorite podcasters, your podcasters, favorite podcasters. Let the world know, man. We here. Uh, let's get into the pod the way we normally get into the pod. How was your week? How was your weekend? Everything was um was great, man. I ain't got no complaints. Um, did we hit three million subscribers yet on YouTube? No, not yet. Listen, man, we too close. You know what I'm saying I need that. I need that. I need that three million. You know what I'm saying, y'all. Uh, Y'all uh, dragging y'all feet with that. No, I mean, I need that three million. I mean, it's bad enough YouTube don't even ain't sent us a plaque yet. YouTube ain't sent us a plaque for what? What, what you get? A hundred thousand or yeah, half a million? Yeah, you get a, you get a plaque for I think a hundred thousand. You get a plaque for a million. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't never sent sent no no shoot shoot. Matter of fact, I think that John don't that John still say we got twelve hundred. Yeah. John said we got twelve. No, it's, it's up now. Well, it, it's oh. up past that twelve hundred right now. Yeah. You were saying we had twelve hundred subscribers for for goddamn damn near for as long as we've been on goddamn YouTube. You know what yeah. I mean? But you know what I mean, we had we had we had two point something now, or something like that. You know what I mean? So 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 do us that favor and, uh, and help us get to three three million. Um, thank y'all for all the support we getting, the views and getting on everything we've been doing. That um, expansion team too. You know what I mean? Y'all been loving that. Um, my brother thanks y'all too. Yeah, man, I ain't got much. I ain't got. I ain't got too much to complain. I ain't, I ain't really got nothing to complain about, man. No, uh, never. You know what I mean, things is going very, very good for us, man, and, and ho- hopefully that continues, man. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Uh, damn, I tried to remember the name of the spot, man, but I forgot about it. But yeah, I mean, y'all can Google it if you if you Google uh, Shady Books Farms, the name of the place should come up. Because by the time this episode come out, it'll be after Halloween. For those people that like to take their kids out, because I found a free spot where you don't got to pay. You just go there, get your pumpkin. You know what I mean? It's less stuff to do for your children, but it's free. You know what I'm saying? I think it's called like Shite, Shite, Shade Farms, something like that. If you Google Shady Brook Farms, and you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure it'll come up because that's how I found it. If you happen to live in the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, or New Jersey area, you know what I'm saying? And you want to just take your kids out. It'll be open past um, Halloween as well. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed your Halloween. Y'all was safe. No, Halloween is when? Halloween is like Thursday. This show come out like Tuesday. Halloween is Thursday. What's the day? Today, today is what the twenty sixth, right? You right. 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 Today actually, because you know we record on Sundays. I'm 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 I'm, I'm thinking of, uh, ahead. Today is actual National Tight End Day. So yeah, you know I mean, if you're a football fan, yeah, you know I mean, today is National Tight End Day. You know what I'm saying? So you know, shout out to all the tight ends out there. You know what I mean, another day that we get to play without Dallas Goddard. Um. <clears throat> But that's crazy. Our tight end just caught the ball, Kyle Kater. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> tight end day. Yeah, you know I mean, we celebrated all the light. But nonetheless, man, let's get into the episode. We're gonna get in the episode. As y'all can see, the sign says "Walk with us." So y'all you know I mean, we gonna we gonna take it slow. Y'all you know I mean, you know, take this journey with us as we go through it. You know what I mean? Hmm. Um. Yeah, man. As most of y'all been hearing for the last few days. This this uh situation is going on with Dirk, him being um him and, and some people are alleged like like associated with him. They're saying associated with him has been picked up by the feds. And um you know they got the paperwork out there online and stuff like that. And I've been listening to some people break the paperwork and all that down. And um you know everybody got different like opinions and you know feelings about it. So we gonna um we gonna get into it about it just got me to thinking because you know a lot of people are quick to say, Well that was if 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 this stuff is true and you know they connecting all and it and it's all this stuff is connected to him, that was stupid. You know what I mean? That was stupid for him to do this and that and this the situation and I just thought like if I was in his shoes, what would what would I do? You know what I mean? Would I end up doing the same thing? Would I be able to just leave everything alone? That's what people keep talking like. If you have money, everything just supposed to be better and just everything could just be left alone that you've been into or the situation that you've been into, been in, been involved in. It ain't that, it's not that simple. It's not. It's not that simple. 
Because a lot of people are looking at him like, well, what sense did that make for him to do all that? To, if this, if this, if this stuff is true, and you know, and you know, they say he did all this stuff, and he's the person behind all this stuff. Well, what sense do that make? You know, you got money. Money ain't gonna. Money don't change the mindset of the person. I mean, money don't change the mindset. Of, money don't change the situation. Well, money do change the situation. You know what I'm saying? What you mean? It don't change the situation. What you mean? Oh, money if, do change if, the situation. If, if somebody. If somebody do something, if something happened to someone you care about. Okay, okay. All right, all right. I got you. I got you. That all don't right, mean right, you all right, of a sudden right, is right, not right. going to get back. I got you. Because right, because right. I got money, I'm not going to want no get back. All right, all right. I got you. All right, all right, all right. You see what I'm saying? I got you. That's not going to change the fact that I, I got money, so I don't I don't care about no get back because I got I'm I got money. Right. And I'm I doing well in life. I got you. That's going to change how I feel if something happened? No. No. I think I think us as fans, we hypocritical in this sense because the music that he put out promoted this type of behavior, right? And we all enjoyed the entertainment of it. But now, when we see him actually live out what he's talking about, we get mad at him. This is the music that we, this is what we, this is what we, we became entertained with. We fell in love with the music, you know what I'm saying? The drill, the drill phenomenon has garnered fans you know what I'm saying? Damn near worldwide, right? Mm -hmm. So the music that we bop to, that we, you know what I mean, we listen to, we, we shake our heads, we listen to the car up to, when, we, when those people act out those events, now we mad. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's only entertainment to me when I'm listening to it. What do you think that where that person got those, some of this shit, you know what I mean, sounds too vivid for it not to be true stories. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying like, this shit is. I'm just saying, we gonna speak like, off a of Dirk situation. How far removed do you think that he was from that life? That, you know what I mean? He could drop those songs and we get so entertained by it. And we fell in love with him because of that. The music that he gave us, that's who we fell in love with. We fell in love with Dirk because of the music. Now, because he did that, we like, yo, he's stupid. Why would he do that? If he was stupid, why would we, why would we enjoy the music that he portrayed the same person that he was? That's who he told us he is. So now he showed us that he is allegedly. Allegedly, now that he showed us that that's who he is, we get mad. That ain't fair, though. I, I don't I don't think that that's fair. You know what I'm saying? We can only enjoy it up to a point. That's some people real life. A lot of these youngins that's coming out with this shit. They come that's with that they they shit is so vivid because that's what they do. A lot of them you can tell not rappers. They you know what I mean a lot of them can't rap on beat. They they really can't rhyme. They got no type of flow scheme, but they just talking about shit that they doing. They not rappers. They not. This drill shit is that's, not. That's uh, a great point. Yeah, they not because rappers. When listen, because when you listen to it, we we listen to it. Majority of these songs sound exactly the same. Yeah. And then you listen to a certain particular artist song. This is their songs. They songs all sound the same. It's just a different beat. Yeah. So yeah, you might. Yeah, you. Yeah. But yeah, we enjoy not, them all the same, though. Yeah, because, yeah, but is it too, I don't know if you want to call it, you should call it artistry, but yeah, yeah they're not, yeah, they're not, uh, it's safe to say that they are not MCs. No, no, they're not. You, you, you might you might say, okay, you're, you might be able to say they're rappers, but they're not MCs. Right. Because I, I understand what you're saying, cause, because when I was listening to it, because of course, everybody's breaking it down, and then, you know, they got the, they got the, um... You know, everybody break it down, lyrics from the songs yeah, and this and yeah, that. What yeah. this, you know what I mean? What this meant and what this might be talking about linked to, to, to this situation that really happened and all that. So now everybody's doing that. Everybody's going back and and, and pulling up different uh, Dirk songs and what he said in the song. You know, you, everybody know how they do when they start breaking down right. songs and all that. And it's like, and they listen, and, and, and they and they breaking down songs from like the other side too, like, um, What's my man's name? The 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 the, the person that they against uh, Rondo, Rondo, Rondo and um and um his man's that yeah the boy that um that uh killed Vaughn. right and he's like and I'm and I'm and I'm listening to it I'm like yo it's just I'm talking about shit that I did and I will do and it's just that like yeah. like you said it's not we we're it's we're, we're not sitting around trying to we're not trying to get too. Deep for the song as far as 
That, like you said, rhyme scheme and right. actually MC skills and all that. We don't do that. We don't. We get straight. Not, not I'm saying just straight to the point. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? We got this person. We're going to get this person. Right. That stuff. Right. That's all gist of it. Like, that's yep. the whole thing of it. Yep. But and then it's like, how can you do that style of music if ain't nothing really happening? True. True. That is like actual, that is reality rap. Yeah. That's really what it is. That's what, that's what drill is. That should be, that should be the new fucking, the new genre title for it. Reality rap, because that's what it is. Because, that's what it is. Because all I'm doing is rapping about the stuff that, that happened to somebody, that happened to me. Right. That I'm going to do to somebody else. That's basically what the song is going right. to be. Every song is going to be like that. Right. No, they don't even have the, they don't even have the mindset of a, of a, of a, I'm a, I'm not, well, even though we, we old school motherfuckers, so I'm not going to talk about today's time. They don't have the mindset of a rapper from what I know. They don't get on and get the big chains and get the, no, they go right back to the churches where they from. They help the motherfuckers there and they like, they, they love it there. They love it there. They might get a car, a chain, but this is where I'm at. I ain't trying to go past here. This is where my motherfucking, this is where the team at. This is where my, that's, that's what they do. When I, when I grew up, the modern day rapper, well, our, not the modern day rapper, our rappers got money and got the fuck out. You got out. You changed your, you know what I mean, your lifestyle, your people you was with, you know what I'm saying, y'all rolled out. No, you still see the rappers in the areas that they in, walking around, chilling, you know what I mean? When they get interviewed, they be interviewed in the areas that they from. But y'all got, y'all got, like, y'all got some type of money where y'all can leave. You don't got to go far. You know what I'm saying? You can go somewhere just like, yo... If I was from Philly, I'm in Jersey now. I mean, I'm away from the bullshit. That's at the end of the day, they know this is what it is. This is what my career is. They love that shit, yo. They love that shit, man. And we and we love them for that. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't get mad at the situation when the situation gets elevated. When we 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 as fans, we get a shit fuel, really. In reality, we get a shit fuel. Cause think about it. If 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 me and you was separate ops, right? I do a song, that shit blow. It only blow because the fans like it, and then that 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 creates a a fucking anger in you. Oh, they fucking they like that shit. So now you gotta one up my shit. It ain't like I'm doing shit and then don't nobody hear it. That shit be everywhere, mm. every fucking where. So now every time you are you hearing some shit, me talking about what I'm doing, man. We 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 give fuel to this shit. We do because. It is just entertainment for us. We not involved in it, yeah. so we not suffering no consequences from it. Right. You know what I mean? We are not the ones that's going to be out there shooting and getting shot at. Right. Way. You right. know what I mean? So, they are. Yeah. Shit, shit is fucked up, man. Because I'm not going to say that certain people are not in the culture because I'm not like a I'm not like a gatekeeper. Like, I can tell who come in and who don't come in. But it just opened up shit where people that don't really necessarily know half of, you know what I'm saying, the lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm I'm from the street. I'm not a street dude, but I'm from the street. I mean, I can, I can identify with a person that do some certain shit, you know what I'm saying, and relate to them in, in some, some ways. But then you get people that open up like, I heard somebody like, yeah, I never thought that somebody would be able to get on a plane to kill somebody, but now I know that that's true. But I'm like, you ain't even, you ain't even from here. How would you... People just making assumptions and shit, you know what I mean? And I and I hate the fact that we open ourselves up for that, man. You know what I mean? I do. I hate the I hate the fact that we open ourselves up for that. Mm. Yeah. Some of them dudes is blessed that actually had a talent though, but not really care about the fact that they have it. Like, don't get me wrong. I mean, not don't get me wrong. Vine was talented. He was one of the dudes who you could tell. I'm not a rapper, but he was talented enough that when he when he said this shit, I'm like, yo, this shit sound all right. You know what I'm saying? Like Dirk. Dirk is talented enough to say, like, you know what I mean? He can do this shit and also sound good enough to be on par to do a song with Drake. Some of these motherfuckers, you listen to them, you're like, how the fuck do y'all listen to this shit? You know what I mean? I might ask myself something like, how the fuck do you listen to this shit? How do you listen to such and such? How do you listen to him? Some of them actually are talented enough to be rappers. Some of them just, yeah, I mean, we getting by because our story is so vivid. Mm. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, man, they, 
Von and Dirk was two of the two of the young guys that I actually paid attention to. Yeah. You know what I mean? I kind of like when I first when I first started listening to Von, I was like, yo, I fuck with the young nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with the young nigga. Then when you said and hey, you seen him in interviews and listened to him talk, I was like, I was like, okay, you can tell that he he okay. Let me see if I can do this. Now I mean, hustle my way in, and then he was good at. It. Some of them was good at, it. like you said, some of them was good at. It. Some of them was, yeah. Now I mean, and you you use that as a hustle. So I'm not um I'm not I'm not mad at that at all. Right. But the thing is, they still connected to what they was just doing. Like like we say, now that you 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 might the stuff start working for you, you might start going to a place and doing sure. different things. But you still connected you to still, the stuff that you've been doing already. Right. So even though you might get more worldly and you might start thinking, all right, yeah, it is it is more out here. Right. The world is bigger than just my neighborhood. Yeah, but you thinking that if I'm your I, I don't care about yeah. you thinking that. Yeah, so now, but at the same time, I'm still in it. Right. You gonna come to me and wave the white flag. No, now no, you're trying to wave the white flag. It's not even I'm waving the white flag. I might be sitting there thinking that I really don't want to do this no more, but I gotta still do it. Yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't walk around thinking that everybody just going to say, you know what? You done made it out. So all this forgiven. No, it's really on now because I really don't like you now. I really don't like you now. I didn't like you when we was both in the street. Right. Now I got to sit here and every time I look at my goddamn phone, see you all over the goddamn world. Right. I just hope, I hope the next, the next up and coming, you know what I'm saying, dudes, look at this and understand this, the severity of this shit because... Dirk said in the shit, like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't going to be a motherfucker that against me. It'll be one of your own friends. And if this shit is allegedly he true. He rapped, he rapped about that he shit. He said that lot. shit. It'll be one of my own friends. And one of your own friends, you know what I'm saying, was wearing a wire that, you know what I mean, they used evidence to put you in, you know what I mean, in jail with. So you, you got you to gotta be careful of that. You got to understand, you know what I'm saying? They, listen, the, the cops, the police force, whatever these motherfuckers is that's, that's out to get y'all, they got a group, and they know, like, we might not be able to get him right now, but get that motherfucker, and we throw football numbers at him, he going to fold. If we throw football numbers at your friend, he going to fold, and he going to do whatever we want him to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to be careful, man. Yeah, this is a, uh, um, that's something that an OG had told me back when I was younger. He told me, you know. That's one of the ways that a lot of people, that's what happens to them. And he was like, that's what's, I'm, he's like, I'm telling you, that's what's going to happen to you. It don't matter. It don't matter how solid you trying to be or stand up you trying to be, no matter how many people you help. Right. It's always going to be, it's, it's always going to be somebody else. Mm -hmm. They either want your spot or they going to get in trouble mm -hmm. and they're going to fold. Right. That's what's gonna happen to you. Somebody's gonna set you up because they're gonna be je they're gonna be jealous of you. It's, it's always gonna be somebody else. You can be as solid as can be. Right. Somebody else, you know what I mean? Your downfall is gonna be because of somebody else, not necessarily because of you. It's gonna be somebody else. Right. It's going to be somebody else. That's what's going to happen to you. Cause a lot of people think that, you no, know, I'm gonna be stand up, I'm gonna be solid. It's gonna be somebody around you that's not. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's always gonna be somebody around you that's not. Just like we gonna pay paid in full. Even though people don't like the character, the character because of what he did. Yeah. You know what I mean? He was right when he say, niggas wanna be the man just cause. Yeah. That's the honest to God truth. Some people was not even qualified to be the boss or be the number one dude, but they want to be that. Right. It will mess every the mess everything up. Mm -hmm. Because they want to be the man, even though they're not qualified to be the man. Right. They do not have what it takes to lead and no no op run no operation at all. But they want to be the man, and they'll burn everything down trying to be the man. Yeah. Yes, they will. They will sabotage the whole regime. The whole thing gonna crumble. Now I mean, just like I forgot my man name, but it's a it's a um. It's a documentary. He's one of the he's one of the guys that rolled with um that rolled with Nicky Barnes. He rolled with Nicky Barnes and he said it best. He was like, 
I guess I think I think I think they asked him how come he ain't want to like try to do more or get bigger and all that. He was like, no, because no, no. He's saying that they was telling him like, no, just stay where you at mm-hmm. because that way people not, not. I mean, you'd rather be a prince amongst the thieves than be the king. Because everybody want to be the king. Everybody right. gonna try to take the king. Everybody gonna try to take the king right. head off. Right. It's better to be the prince. But nobody say I want to be the prince. Everybody want to be the king. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. right. And that's what you've seen because everybody wanted to be the man. And now people will destroy everything for that. Mm-hmm. Now, I mean, you've seen that before. Now, I'm saying we, 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 we hear some of these gangster stories. It was about somebody under it and just wanted to be the man. Right. You know what I mean? You even seen that in um The Wire with Marlo. Right, right. You know what I mean? He got Prop Joe out of the way. Prop Joe said, yo, I treated you like a son. Yeah. No, I'm not meant to play the son. Right. Then he look at Chris. Chris and even Chris doing it because he loyal to his to his best friend. Right. But even he looking like, yo, some of the stuff and the moves you 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 trying to make. Yo, why is you doing that? Right. Then Marlo just happy about it. You don't you don't feel that. You don't feel that crown on your head. I do. You know we running shit. Chris like, oh, we just did a whole bunch of stuff that didn't make no sense. Yeah. Because you just want to be the man. I'm your best friend, so I'm rolling. I mean, so he's rolling with him. Right, right. So I'm his right hand man, but even a dude, a dude that's a, a killer is right. looking at you like, why are we busting the moves that we busting? Right. 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 Exactly. Because Marlo just needed to be the man. Yeah. Yeah. No right. matter what. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This whole co-op and all this we got doing, even though everything at the end of the day is all illegal, you see what I'm saying? Everything is wrong, but within right. that, what I'm talking about, if you, no, I just want to be, he need to be the man. So he, he got to figure out a way to try to be the man. If he got to go around everybody, no matter what he got to do, he got to be the man. Right. And some people who are like that. Right. Yeah, you are right. It's always gonna be somebody like that. It's gonna be. It's always gonna be somebody to get caught, and they tell for whatever reason, whatever's going on. Mm-hmm. Somebody gonna always feel like they're not getting enough, not getting treated just like again. Remember in paid in full when um Rico bore ace the dude that was on his team, but then he's like, "Yo, what's yo, what's the problem and all this and that? Yo, I I ain't eating." Right, right. Ace like. What are you talking about? Everybody eating. Right. But that person, for some odd reason, feel like it's not enough. Right. It's always going to be somebody like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No matter how he treating, no matter how good he treating everybody, mm-hmm. it's still people under him that want his spot or want more. Right. And Ace was the type of person, he was making sure everybody, he wasn't the type of person that's all about me and we taking everything. Right. He told you, yo, I yo, I shared. Even even A Z, the, the 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 real the real life person that Ace was in the movie, that was his philosophy. Right. I shared with everybody. I didn't, I wasn't greedy. I shared with everybody. Right. Right. And people still tried to kill him. Yeah. You sharing with everybody, people still trying to kill you. Right. You know what I mean? And I know people, people got their mixed feelings about, you know, um, bitch, um, 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 big meats and all, and, and this and that. And they talking about all this. Like I said, we don't get into the who snitch, who told, and all that. And we we not, we not, we not the people. Like I said, I'm not qualified to be trying going in no paperwork and be deciding who, who's a snitch and who's not. You know what I mean? That's not what I do. But. You seen when the things came out about Meech, about how they got caught up. Mm-hmm. People that they was eating with just somebody, all it takes for one person to start telling and then domino is a domino effect. Yeah. Now, even though you making sure everybody rolling with you is like he even said it, everybody roll with his prospers. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't just see, you didn't just see him. Like I said, we ain't trying to, we ain't, we not trying to glorify nothing, but it is, what it was. When you watch them documentaries and some of y'all who old enough that y'all seen that in real life. Y'all seen BMF in real life. Mm-hmm. He wasn't just him having a nice car and no everybody was driving regular cars. Right. They always rolling and they always living good. 
And people still, there's always still going to be somebody that folds. There's going to always still be somebody that's jealousy of whatever. Right. That's how most people are going to lose. And I remember OG told me, that's, it's like, that's how you're going to lose. You, he was like, you smart. You know what I mean? I can tell you're going to be solid, but somebody's going to tell on you. Somebody's going to set you up to kill you. Somebody's going to be jealous of you. Somebody's going to want your spot. Somebody's going to fool. That's, somebody's going to tell you. not even qualified for it. So that's how you're going to lose. Yep. You're not even qualified for my spot, but you want the spot. You yeah. Think you, you just yeah. want it. Yeah. You just want it. N- niggas want to be the man just because. Yeah, you just want it. Not even qualified for my shit. Yeah. That mean don't even know what to do. You just want to be the, you just want to be the man. Yeah, yeah. That's how it's gonna be, man. And that's what it is, man. And um, and it's, and and he was in a situation where the entertainment world and people and this whole social media thing probably escalated it to where it's, Everything is when he gonna get him back. So, what? So what is he supposed to do? He's just supposed to just be like, yeah, go on. Somebody just go on. Let me just go on and just walk up to Cronin Rondo and just blow his head off, right? So we can get paid back for Vaughn. Because then, if he just did that, people would just been saying, well, he was stupid for that, right? Because he rich and he one of the one of the most popular rappers out. He just threw his life away. So right. it's gonna be damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah. I said, throw your life away for our entertainment. How come y'all not sliding for Vine? They need to slide. He need to slide for Vine. Yeah. What is he supposed to be stupid and just supposed to just do? What is he supposed to walk up on a man and just, and just shoot him in front of everybody and just go to jail for the rest of his life? Right. For y'all entertainment? Some people, some people, I don't got shit to prove to y'all. But that does put you in a messed up position where. You feel like my man is gone because of them, mm-hmm. and I I can't I can't let that go. Mm-hmm. I can't let it go. You know what I mean? I can't let it go. Right. Just like, and then and you know because now everybody going back to the drink that he did when Wallo was talking to him, but. You could tell by they, a lot of them guys, they, they disposition that was in the room is, dog, we so deep in it. Yeah. We not, you know what I mean? You mean well, but. Right. Saying that, but. It's hard to talk to people at the finish line when you at the starting line. Yeah. You know what I mean? Saying? Yeah. You, you talking from a point of success and we like, yo, we just trying to get our, we didn't get our feet off the ground yet. You already eating. You know what I mean? It's easy. I Not to say it's easy, but you look at that person like it's easy for you to say that now. You good. You good. You, we just lost such and such. We fucked up over here. Yeah. I'm uh, not really, I can't even hear what you're trying to tell me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. That's what. Mm, that's why I understand them why when I talk to them, you, when we talk on here, they say, yo, you know what I mean, we we do appreciate they they do express that they appreciate what we saying to them, and I do understand that y'all 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 is still in it. You know what I mean, y'all still in it, right? You know what I mean, y'all got to be able to survive to be able to say y'all got to go no twenty years to be able to say yo y'all in y'all forties, right? Y'all got to survive today, right? To be able to live to be our age, you right. do. I understand that, but. It's all, yeah, it's all, man, it's always going to be people like that, man. It's always going to be people. Somebody's going to, somebody's going to fold. Somebody's going to be jealous of you. Somebody's going to want your spot. It's always going to be that. It doesn't matter how stand up you are as a person. It doesn't. It does not. And then, like, let's let's be real. Like, not remove this from the situation. I don't talk about shit that I don't know, right? We're going to talk about the same scenario. If you, my man... Right? You my man. And this is the lifestyle we come from. That means nine times out of ten, your family's entrenched in this lifestyle as well. Right? So something happened to you. What am I going to do when your mom come in and me tell my son, what you going to do about my son that was your best friend? 
What I'm gonna do when your uncle come to me talking about some? Yo, that was your homie. You just gonna let him like? You know what I mean? Do that? They in this well, shit too. Then I'm just like, well, well, I'm nah, say, nah. I'm, I'm living life and I got money. Right. And I got to answer to them because we like family. And I'm around them. Yeah. So it, sometimes it ain't even outside interference. It's the people in your own circle. Yo, what we going through? Yo, they took our homie. And you just, you got to deal with that. Sometimes that shit bigger than the outside interference. Mm-hmm. You're like, yo, you right. I got to do something. You know what I mean? I got to do something. You know what I mean? His mom looking at me. His uncle looking at me. He got siblings. They looking at me. I can't just give him a check and tell him, here, take this check. Everything going to go away. Mm-hmm. Hey, come on, man. A lot of a lot of that shit. We we talking about that shit, but again, people talk about situations until they in that situation and they face with those things. Mm-hmm. Then you can talk about it. We all can be like, yo, that was dumb. That was crazy. Why did he do this? That man, that's what's up. That sounds good now. That sounds good now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Come on, man. I I can't speak on certain shit because I don't know what I would do in that. So I'm not gonna be like, man, I would never. No, you don't know. You don't know, cause in, in in his head he like, I'm gonna handle it this way, and allegedly, let's go. Ale- I'm gonna handle it this way, and I'm gonna be able to get away with it. I'm still gonna get this shit done, cause I, that's my that's my man. I'm gonna avenge him. Now I'm gonna handle it this way, and I'm gonna get it done. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Come on, man. Yeah, man. And, and the thing about it, like, see, I hate talking like this, cause it make it seem like we we condoning this shit, right? But fuck it, we in it. I hate this shit because we get mad at him. Why ain't we get mad at the motherfucker that acted out the thing? You 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 acted it out, right? But now shit hit the fan. You bitching. We ain't mad at him. We mad at we mad at the the, 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 the name. That's like I come to you, yo, bro. We gotta get this done. All right, give me the bread. I'ma do it. You do this shit now. Something happen. You get pinched. Motherfuckers start pressing you with something. Now you start folding. They mad at me. Why ain't you mad the motherfucker that accepted whatever he accepted to do, and now that he did it, the pressure bust pipes on him? Come on, now. He could have easily be like, no, I can't do that, bro. I ain't built for this type of life. Why you here? That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. I don't like to talk like that because it makes it seem like we condoning that shit. Like, no, he should have been a stand-up guy. No, because that's because that's part of our upbringing too. True. That, that you don't. You you don't you don't you don't tell on nobody. If y'all right. decide to go do something, right? Y'all accept whatever come with that. Y'all decided to go do it. Exactly. You are taught that you are taught that in the hood. Mm-hmm. Whether you going to be a street person or not, whatever you doing, it don't matter if we two people, if we two kids, we gonna decide we gonna go in this store and steal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If y'all get caught and you don't, you don't tell. I don't tell on you. Right. Right. That is part of our upbringing. That's yeah. not no. That's not necessarily being no street dude. That's mm-hmm. just part of our, our upbringing. Yeah. You don't tell. You don't. You don't tell. That's a part of. That's really a part of society. Yeah. You don't tell. Right. You do not tell. Something go wrong and we decide that this is what we going to do. We stick together and we don't tell on each other. Right. Right. Even cops don't like that. When another somebody else tell another cop tell. Right. Are they blowing them? That's what they call them, whistleblowers. They don't right. like that. Right, right, right. So even police don't like that. I mean, even people in your family, your grandmothers and all your grandfather, all that telling, who did it? Then soon as they tell it, I'm going to whoop your ass too for telling. Right, right. The person yeah, exactly. who did it used to get exactly. their ass whooped. The person <laughs> right. who told used to get their <laughs> right. ass whooped for telling. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you did it, so you get yeah. your ass whooped, and you no, nah, we don't we don't tell. Right. So you getting you 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 getting ass whooping too for telling. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yo. You know, you know what I mean? So <sighs> he was in a situation, man, where it's like I understand it. Yeah. I do. I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying I understand. From the information we know, I understand it too, because we don't know. It could have been it could have been him that came to him like, yo, bro, if you give me X amount of dollars, I go handle that situation. We don't it don't necessarily have yeah, to be yeah, yeah, his yeah, his yeah. idea that he thought up. Yeah, it yo, could, give exactly, me this, bro, because, I'm gonna go handle it. Yeah, because you don't know. You exactly. don't know. Everybody's saying that, yo, man, you can't just I mean, everybody's saying like, yo, Dirk just found some crash dummies. Right. And then and then he talked them. That don't mean that That's he not- Somebody could have came and said, yo, man, 
I will put the work in. Hell yeah. What, what I what what I what I need from you is, yo, yo, do a couple songs with me because I'm trying to be a rapper too. Right. You don't know who came with the proposition on, or who's going to do what. what. Yeah. You don't know none of that. You don't know none of that. But we putting it all on him. That's the shit that I'm saying. We, Dirk, we throwing we it all on him. Dirk got them to do this and that now. From what the paperwork read, the, the, way, the way they went about doing stuff and then the person actually having... The, the come to come to come to find out the person was, was wearing was wearing a wire. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know what the circumstance. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean he alleged certain things, but I don't I don't hundred percent know why he decided to to I guess wear a wire or right. you know what I mean, but coming in informant or whatever. I don't know what his personal reason was, and I don't know if it's any information on if he said exactly why he did it. I don't. I'm not counting on him saying nothing. I don't know. You know what I mean? But right. I got you. About why he even did that. About why he even decided to do that. Right. Becoming a foreign. I don't. I don't know. You know what I mean? But you know, everybody from here, we was taught not. You taught not to do that. Just this in society, right. you, you, you're taught. You're taught not. These are the people you down with, and you, you go decide to do something. You don't. You don't. You don't tell. Yeah, you right. You don't tell. It don't it don't it don't matter what it is. It don't matter if we both at goddamn work and I get caught outside, you now I mean taking a longer goddamn lunch break. Right. You know what I mean? Right. If I was just taking a lunch break with you and I'm gonna get caught, I ain't supposed to tell on you. Right. When well, they ain't got nothing to do with no street stuff. That's just everyday life. Right. You're not supposed to tell on people. You're not supposed to tell on people. I'm not gonna say Yo, Ern was out here. He was just out here with me. <laughs> right, right. He had just went back in. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, right. So I'm not the only person that took an extra, um, extra time on lunch. Earn did it too. I'm not supposed to do that. Right, right. Matter of fact, y'all hate people that do that. We ain't talking about streets, so we're talking just regular everyday life. People that tell people on jobs, we hate that. True. Like, yo, don't even talk around him. He a goddamn snitch. Yeah. He'll go run and tell the goddamn boss, now I mean, that you stepped off. And, and, and went to Chick-fil-A. It'd be dumb stuff. Yeah. But people just be snitches. Yeah. Second, they get in trouble with some. I wasn't the only person that 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 leave off the property and go get lunch. I'm not the only one. Right. Such and such do it too. Right. How come only person just getting in trouble for it? What? You snitching. Mm-hmm. So I ain't got nothing to do with no streets. It's just people that's just snitches in life. Right. The second they get in trouble with something, they try to bring somebody else down. Right. You know what I mean? It's just that's just, that's just what it is. I just, it's, yo, man, I, oh man, I remember one time I was working. It was like people people was outside before it was time to clock out. This is work. Uh-huh. Now I mean, you outside before it's time to clock out, so you know, hang outside. So I stepped off and went to the bathroom. The boss come downstairs, come outside, like, y'all not supposed to be out here yet. It ain't time to go. Y'all got to go. Clock. I wasn't the only person that was out there. <laughs> no. Yo, she straight, she straight shut down on everybody. Now, I'm in the bathroom. I'm hearing this. I'm like, I'm like, yo, why that sound like the boss outside? I'm not outside. The yeah, she just made you start telling him. And then, and then, he, she, she, t- she said that I'm in the, she tell that I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> she just told on everybody. Yo, she just told on everybody. So then, <laughs> matter of fact, you don't see I show you because he's in there. <laughs> Yo, straight up, I'm not. She said I'm not the only person. I'm not that person that that, that, that came out here early. That came out here early. Such and such and such and such such in the bathroom. Boss coming and get me. Yo, Boy, that's you know crazy. you ain't you ain't supposed to be down here. Yo, she. I'm like I'm like. I'm like, yo, she really told on everybody. That's crazy. Yo, yo. That's fucking wild. Yo, no, yo, nobody fucked with her after that. You can't. Yo, 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 people, yo, people will leave and nobody gave her a ride home, nothing. <laughs> Talk. You gotta be careful. She was yo. a cold snitch. Motherfuckers will say they self for nothing. What are you doing? Yeah, for what? You trying to say yourself or like like that's what I'm saying. Say? Okay, you tell everybody else, you're not gonna get in trouble. Like, right. this is not the police. Yeah. Like <laughs> You're still getting it right up like the rest of us. Yo, you got to be careful. Motherfuckers are trying to say they self for I'm nothing, talking about over yo. Du- yo, over, fam, it's a job. It's not like we going to go to jail. Yeah. But people, people just, yo, people, people live in fear, though, dog. They do. I might lose this. I might lose this job, though. 
man, I'm making good money over this joint. Listen, I ain't the only motherfucker out here. Come on, chill out. Like, yeah, people live in fear, yo. Stupid stuff. People just beat yo, man. Now, and that people could be just the same tell. situation, though. Like, we don't know what home. Uh, he could have got pulled over for fucking running the red light. I can tell you who did this. What? Not to write you a ticket. You never know what somebody going to do until they face with that situation. Listen, man. I, man, man, I done seen people start telling the stuff that's like, come on, man. Dog. Just going to just take that. Yeah. No. You know what I'm saying? Stupid stuff. The boss, like, well, you know, y'all ain't supposed to be going in there. That's for the customers to buy this and that. You know what I mean? Y'all can drink all the sodas and the juices y'all want back there. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, why you just take a soda out of it? Oh, I want the only one that takes sodas out of there. Why that's the first thing out your mouth and start telling another, everybody else? Yeah. Yeah, yo. Even the boss don't respect that. Right. The boss kind of me like, yo, you know what I mean? Y'all can't be going in there. You know what I'm saying? Yo, just... Yo, just do such and such back here. Don't go out there in the front and do this and that. Yo, man, I don't know if we got you wrong. I mean, y'all got to, yo, this, the, the the boss at the job said that. Yo, y'all better be careful, man, because he a cold rat. The boss telling you that. The boss don't even like that that person is around him rat. Right. Tell him. Boss don't even like that. And this is a regular job. Nobody likes that. We right. It's people, yo, it's, oh, my God. I done got some stories of some people, goddamn. So I'm talking about, I'm talking about just regular everyday life. Just, just that job is just telling, just telling. So, so that's, so that's not really a street thing. Now, being in the street, that has more consequences, severe consequences than a regular job. No, you got people that snitch over, so they don't get a damn write up at, right. at, at a damn nine to five job. Give up all the tapes. Tell you when you go to, oh y'all ain't supposed to be all. All of y'all here for lunch? Ain't no damn Chick-fil-A? Boss pulling up on you at the Chick-fil-A. Everybody in there. Who the fuck told me he was over here? Right, right, right. Come to find out this motherfucker tell him. Yeah. Motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? You tell him because of nobody, don't nobody invite your ass. You go fucking eat a goddamn Burger King by yourself. Everybody else go to Chick-fil-A. So you tell him. So when you get caught, you say everybody else to go out for lunch too. Like, yo, that's just how it is, man. You know what I mean? It's always gonna be somebody that it's always gonna be somebody that tells. That really ain't got necessary nothing to do with being being out in the street. No, I don't. It's always gonna be somebody around that just tells. The second that they feel like they are in trouble, they are going to tell. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me, I've been working a long ass time. It's some goddamn snitches. Some people to this day I don't even say hello to, man. <laughs> you say hello to. I don't no, even but speak you know to, what? dog. You right. Um, it's, it's, it's motherfuckers I work around it like that, too. You know what I'm saying? I be trying to warn other people because, you know what I mean? I might, I might hear like a little more than certain other people. Like, yo, just stay away from bull. Why? No, I just stay away from bull. But people going to be who they going to be. And they end up dealing with him. You know what I mean? But, yeah, you, you have to be careful who you around, man, at all times. At work. You know what I'm saying? Cause some people just they can't handle the pressure. In life, some yo, some some people just some people just they are willing to fold to get out of they they, they feel like it's gonna get them help get them out of trouble. Like right. I said, people do that in all walks of life. Right. Regular everyday life, working, people just do that. People are just snitches. Yeah. They like you said, they'll tell with something that don't even don't even matter. Yeah. But why are you even telling me this for? Why you out here taking a cigarette, extra cigarette break? I'm not the only person that go out here. You know what I mean? Such and such be out here too. Wait, right. what? What are you talking? So that's going. So you still you're not gonna get in trouble now? Take that little whatever you gonna get and run with it, man. Now you, you he want, ain't doing nothing but tell, I feel telling you, you, yeah, yeah. You know what, what I mean? This is bigger than Nino Brown. Right. If I go down, we're in a whole lot of people with me. Right. Like, what the fuck? yeah, it's people like that at my job, dog. It's people that they'll volunteer like, yo, I'm about to run up the Wendy's. You want something? Yeah, go grab me like some saucy nuggets or something. Then when they get caught, well, this ain't even mine. I'm bringing this back for him. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> asked me that I want some. Yo. Just tell him. Some people just <laughs> like, tell. Yeah, I just bring, I bring this back for him. This ain't mine. I, yeah, because you already ate your shit on a rock back, motherfucker. You, went, you, ain't, you, went, you ain't go there just for me. Yeah, but you got to be careful, yo. People will just, people just tell to tell, yo. People will just tell to tell, man. Very dangerous, man. Yeah, so y'all, so some of y'all is in some 
positions out there in that street to where is y'all y'all are probably solid y'all probably stand up dudes and y'all probably make sure y'all try to treat people fairly and some people that's just not going to see it as that and even if they do they are going to they're going to be willing to do whatever they got to do to get out of they fight they're going to help them get out of trouble it's always going to be people like that it's always going to be people like that that yeah. just can't keep their goddamn mouth that they can't keep their goddamn mouth shut they are afraid yeah you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and people can get into their head. Just mm-hmm. like when you sitting around talking to a cop, they tell you you got the right to remain silent. Yeah. Sam, I don't got I don't got I don't up. gotta say a word to you. Right. I don't have to say a word to you. I've been in situations where I'm not gonna say a goddamn word. Mm-hmm. Okay, you can handcuff me and sit me down on the side on the curb all I'm not gonna say nothing except when you ask me my name. Right. Cause I don't I don't have nothing to hide when it comes to that. Other right. than that, I don't got to say nothing. Right. Nothing. I don't have to say nothing to you. Yeah, you're right. And I really ain't even got to say it. I could just, I just be completely quiet. Yeah. I don't got nothing to hide, so I don't mind you telling my my, my goddamn name and who I am. Because I feel like I don't have nothing to hide. I don't, I don't do nothing wrong. But I past that, I don't got no whole conversation with you. You want to you ask me everything that go on and what happened around here, such and such happened around here. The reason why we pulling you over is this. Mum's the word. Right, 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 right. If you're going to put the handcuffs on me and put me in the back of the car, all right, mum's the word. Whatever they're going to do, they're going to do. Right. There's people that somebody to ride with you. No, we wasn't doing nothing, and we was doing it, and tell them. Tell them we don't do none of that. Don't say nothing to them. You ain't got to say nothing. Some people just, it's just the fear sets in. So quick, the fear sets in. Yeah, it does. It really does. Now I mean, then, like I said, you got some of these people because I know people like I've uh, I've uh, grown up with people like that. That they was like I said, they was solid when they was older, but then you found out they tell later on. Yeah. Right. They they tell later on because somebody was talking to me about this about somebody that um I grew up with that told. Mm-hmm. Now I didn't know because, like I said. I'm not in the streets, you know what I'm saying? I ain't been in the streets in years. So when I so when I see somebody I grew up with, I don't ask them about none of that. You know what I mean? I ask them how they doing, how they family doing, what's going on. I don't I don't get entrenched in none of that. Right. So he told me, you know, yo, such and such, man, he he dishonorable, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, he told he working with now now you working with the people. So, you know, make sure if you if you are doing anything, don't say nothing to him. And you know. We grew up with him, so you know what I mean. We not you can't hate him, but we just not going. We just going like di- disconnect from him and don't nobody speak to him. Mm. <clears throat> but then you thinking like, and for one, y'all already out there in the street still like y'all still doing that shit. Like mm. you know, we older now. You still doing that shit, but some mm. people that's they they can't get out of that, and that's all. And it's you know it's a, it's a whole cycle. You know what I mean? And then you and then and it's like, well, damn. And then you start thinking to yourself, he was telling? Right. He was always one of the most thorough people that saw it. Yeah, you do that when you're yeah, younger. People, people's lives change, though. Yeah. Then it's like, where does your loyalty lie? If I got a bunch of kids and shit, my loyalty lies to these, lies to these kids. So if something happened, I got to get back out here to these kids and take care of these kids. My loyalty don't lie with you niggas no more. You know what I'm saying? No. People don't understand, like, the change. Nah, like, I still feel like sucking shit, though. It is, I mean, it is. It is sucking shit, but because you know what she was doing. You right, you right. But motherfuckers, when people when when when, you, when your situation change, you change with the situation. You know what I mean, motherfuckers and, don't don't remain the same. And then, and then it's it, it, that's all right if you go. Are right, you eighteen and you shoot somebody? They give you a couple years. You come out, you're twenty one, twenty two. Right. All right, you go back in for a couple years. Yeah, now you 30 something and somebody about to hit your ass with 20 goddamn years or 30 years or 40 years. Yep. Because I'm like, yo, it's, it's a few people that I know, like, they didn't, they told me, like, what was they, t-? and so you want, you like, was they telling the whole time? No, he been standing up the whole time. Yeah. Now you telling, yeah, because people are getting older and now people realize, yeah. yo, I don't want to die in jail. Right. I'm older now, so that's like when I shot somebody and I went to jail for a couple years. I came out in a couple years. Right. I'm still young. So people, like if you know that they 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 didn't tell you he's older, like I'm like why the fuck you still out there at that damn age trying to do shit that, damn, 
Go find something to do, man. Go find something to God damn. Some of these motherfuckers I know, I'm like, y'all still doing the same shit? See, it's hard to say go find something to do when you beloved in the neighborhood because people see you a certain type of way. Like, you know what I mean? Like, unfortunately for us, the hood, we 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 praise about the, the white, drug dealer. The, the, the older niggas. The older niggas, go find something to do. Man. Who the fuck wanna be? And it, listen, we and, it, it's, and, 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 it's, and it's another thing. Like, don't no nigga, don't, don't no young nigga want to hear about this was your block and this was your corner back in fucking 1999, you right. nigga. You right, they don't. Yeah, I'll shoot you 99, 1999 times, motherfucker. I don't want to hear shit. Why do, why do older niggas do that? No, because these young niggas, they need to... They, you they, know who they, I was. they, no, cause they, they disrespectful. I was out here before yeah. they was even born. Who cares, dog? Time goes on and life goes on, bro. Who cares? Why do you care? Did you catch that shit? That was wild. My bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that I mean, shit was why wild. Do you, why he swatted that care? down and he caught the shit. Um, I mean, like, like, be, like, because my name means something. No, I mean, that's why. Team Merc make the dream work. Yeah, that's why. My my name means something. You motherfuckers got to know that my name means something. When you got to think about it, if you go from being a man and then you lose that, I got to remind you niggas who the fuck I am. Yeah, man. Y'all better stop that coming out here, going out to some goddamn block talking about shoes to run. Man, what if I look like going going to some damn block that I was on 20-something years ago talking about? So I remember when... When we when we was out here, niggas gonna be like, I so you you was out here, yeah, this used to be mine and this and that. What's well, ours now? You would have. It's ours now. So like, we we rock, just, rock with you guys, but this is ours now. What, what I'm what, what I'm gonna come out here and say I'm taking the shit back. I have no business to be out worrying about worrying about it being out there. Yeah, you you just look like the motherfucker that was out in the block before. You ain't like that shit gonna stop, or is you gonna be the first motherfucker to do it? That shit ain't gonna stop. It's the motherfucker locked mm-hmm. up right now. He in his forties. He's talking about something. When I get out, I'm going to shut that shit down. Yeah. He needs better. Young yeah, boy I mean, better get out and lay down. Right. Boy, boy, you better go. You, man, you better go get a goddamn job or something, man. Something about like, this shit ain't going to change. Rinse and repeat. Your, before you get your goddamn head blown off. I don't even know why niggas be saying, no, niggas got to know. Like, when, you know what I mean? When you used to run shit out here, yo, and you used to come out here and hang out with me when you when you was on your way to the basketball court. Dog, you know, that was the 90s, fam. Yeah. That was the 90s, dog. And time goes on. And fuck you, what the fuck? Who fucking cares? But this was your block fucking 30 years, 20 something years ago. Man. Who cares? You talking to a motherfucker that don't got nothing to move on to. Who cares, yo? Nah, niggas acting like we wasn't out here. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. See, and don't nobody know that this was ever our fucking block. Oh, this was ever my fucking corn. I don't care. See, I don't care. That's unfair for you, though, dog. You just, you start, all right, I'm going to say that's unfair because you started to pot out with, I tried to put myself in dirt shoes to see, like, what will make a person. So you got to do that same way of thinking for these motherfuckers. You looking from, now you, now you, you done removed, you done took their shoes off and put your shit back on. Your perspective is, Man, this shit way bigger than Move, this. Why is yeah. we still doing this? Move on, nigga. Them niggas talking me to death Move about some, some shit from back in the day. Them niggas. So what? <laughs> so so what? They be looking at me. No, nah, nigga, cause see, you see you doing the fucking your YouTube shit, cause I've been watching you. <laughs> Somebody show me you do that shit. See, now you think, see, you too big, you want some Hollywood shit. Dog, who cares? Who fucking cares what we was doing around here fucking in fucking 2000 or 2000 or whatever? Yet? Who cares? I don't even care. Them niggas do. I don't care. I don't care about walking. Niggas I'm not do. walking up on no young nigga talking about this used to be my spot. This used to be my corner. I don't care. Life goes on, bro. I don't care. And that's maybe because I always thought like. Right. But what, the, the world the world was bigger than, than doing this shit. Maybe, why, maybe that's why I could just let it go and but, not. Why, unfortunately, do we look at them as though, because, you know, we say that a lot, like life goes on. Why, unfortunately, do we look at them as though they not going on with life? That's just oh. how they, that's how they progress in their life, doing the same shit. That's their progression. Yeah, niggas is running in place. And then you're not, not even, you're not even, 
You ain't built for this shit no more, dog. No, you they got, definitely you not. You don't have no connections out here no more. Listen. Is you really out here about, about, about to be out here going on with niggas that's fucking 15 fucking years younger than you, 20 fucking years younger than you, dog? Not- trying, to, trying to retake some shit that you... Ran twenty fucking years ago. Oh, these young niggas don't play by the same rule book that, you, that, that the older niggas play by. Matter of fact, they like you yeah, said they, we about they, the Batman and Joker shit. They don't got no rules. They don't play by no rule books. Whatever they going through, they going through it, and they gonna go in there. They might snitch on a couple motherfuckers while they getting there. You know what I'm saying? They don't. They don't go. But they don't buy by the same rule book that the old motherfuckers go by. Yo, niggas be making my head hurt with that shit, man. I don't care about that. Back in the day, shit, all, all that. I don't care about it. So you think they care about it? The niggas that's younger care about it? They out there doing what they got to do, and, and, and they out there now. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you right. They, they are. So you going, what, what, what you think the end result is going to be? This is just human me people out here. Listen, to, what, what, what is a nigga that walk up on a goddamn block that he ran 25 years ago? And think that you're gonna talk to the niggas out there that's all that's out there now and say that I ran this shit back in the day before most of y'all that's on here now was even born. What do you think the end result of that's gonna be? What they gonna do? Shoot you till you fucking catch on fire. They gonna get down on one knee and fucking buy and pay homage to you? Nah, First well, off, that's disrespect. What, what, you, what, 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 what did you think? What do you think the result of that's gonna be? You you actually disrespecting them niggas by coming up to them like that. You gotta be careful. Some of these young motherfuckers won't even let you approach them like that. You better be careful. Because I li- listen, because we we in this shit right now. You I don't know, know you, dog. The young, Man, you I don't be know you. A lot of these young niggas won't even let you walk up on them like that. You you will get fried like yeah, that. You, you, I don't yo, know you. You got up on them niggas like that. You're lucky. Now now shut the fuck up and walk away. That's you know what I mean. Because they don't give a fuck. Them niggas will blow your motherfucking head off and go get a cheesesteak. You know what I'm saying? These young niggas do not care. Listen, man. Listen, man. Dude, don't dude, care. Listen, listen. You'll be a fucking listen. verse in a rap song. Listen, nigga. Do you like fucking Monk Dick Cuddy? Dog. Nigga, just, just call me just shot him. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, walk to the corner, try to get Mike off the Mike off the corner. Nigga, just call me just shot him. He's just going to shoot him in his head. Just nice and calm. Right. Nigga didn't start fucking yelling, screaming, and hollering with him. He ain't do all that. He's like, listen. I just step off. Yeah. No, I'm about to go. I'm telling you, step off. Okay. Nigga, Kami just fucking shot him. Yeah. He didn't start. Monk didn't just start yelling and screaming and hollering. He just shot him. You just going to kill him. Yeah. If Michael ain't stopping, you just going to kill him. Nice and calm. Just going just gonna to kill him. Right. Things ain't trying to hear that shit. I don't know what some of y'all be thinking when y'all be caring about that. I don't even. No, I don't give a fuck what was going on back then. I, I'm. <laughs> I'm glad I made it out of that shit alive and just, you know what I'm saying? And nothing happened to me. Yeah. I'm I'm not about to go out there and worry about nothing from back in no goddamn day. Yeah. But you got you to gotta feed these niggas hope so that they know that it's something else. A lot of niggas is hopeless. They are, you know what I'm saying? We do this and, you yeah. know what I mean? The young dudes said that they listen, you know what I mean? They know, but they in it now. But they do understand it's more yeah. than life than just Even that neighborhood. Even if you in it now, block. it's still hope. Yeah. If you in it now, it's still hope. Like, you ain't dead... You know what I mean? It's still a way out. Shit. You know what I'm saying? We just talked about Meech's home right now. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? It's still a way out. If, no matter how deeply entrenched you think you in it, I guarantee none of y'all niggas was bigger than Big Meech. No, and well, none of them niggas bigger than Meech. So, you know what I'm saying? It's still a way out. You know what I'm saying? Out, well, Alpo Al- 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 did pass away. He got, you know what I'm saying? But he he, he passed away once, once the shit was done. He did his time, came back home. It just happened to some other shit happen. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, it's, 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 it's a way out. You don't have to get in that shit and feel like, yo, this is my life. And I can I can see how a lot of motherfuckers can think that. Because if you look around, like I said before, not like 7 out of 10. I said 9 out of 10. Probably 7 out of 10. Your mom in that shit. Your uncle in that shit. Your pop is in that shit. And that's what, like, a, a lot of what, when you look at, when you look at, like, Von history, a lot of that shit was his life. Mm-hmm. Your pop in that shit. Your uncle's in that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you get mad at your uncle because your uncle is doing some shit with an op. That's your fucking blood uncle. Fuck is you over there with them niggas for? And, but you like, oh, I'm not in the shit that you in. I'm trying to do some other shit. 
So what? You my uncle, you ain't supposed to be with such and such. When his uncle was like getting interviewed about that shit like, why are you over there with them niggas? Because you my uncle, you can't go over there with that. That's your life now. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Like, <sighs> unfortunately, man, this shit was crazy. Because, you know what I mean? And I don't even know that the Dirk was put in an unfortunate situation. You know what I mean? Because a lot of the fans, the, 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 the talk around with the fans is now like, y'all motherfuckers told Dirk to slide. Now that he slid, you calling him a dummy. That's what y'all kept saying. Slide for Vine. Sly for fun. Now, all the motherfuckers that said that, now you calling him a dummy for doing this shit. Don't let these motherfuckers use you for their entertainment. That's what. That's all it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? You got a bunch of motherfuckers in houses not going through the situations you're going through telling you to do some shit. Don't be no puppet. But I'm not saying that that's what Dirk was. Because like I said, we don't know the situation. We don't know, you know what I mean, what happened. For all we, you know, like I said, my man could have came to him and said, yo... Uh, I'm about to, we, me and my man about to ride out on such and such. You know that's where the bull be at. You give me a couple of hours, we handle that situation. You don't know what the hell, what, the, what it was. You know what I mean? Mm. You just got to be careful, man. Mm. Like I said, um, I'm not saying what, but I, I, I do, I do, I do understand the situation. Like I said, I can understand the situation that, that he's in to where it's, Yo, know, you probably just felt like you just couldn't let it go because there's some people that if something happened to them, I might not be able to just let it go. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. I might not be able to just let it go. I might not be able to just let it go. So. I, 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 don't, I don't know what I would do in that situation, too. The crazy thing about it, nigga, right? Like, you better, nigga, I'm not, you better slide for ISO. Listen, I'm going to say like this, dog. This, this was a question that was asked. They was like, what would y'all do if the people that y'all know trying to block y'all came to apologize to y'all, what would you do? And I was like, I don't know about ISO. Me, myself, I don't even know if I, if I want your apology. For one, I got kids that, you know what I mean? Our situation probably be changed right now. And I asked you to come into this situation. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not on no like, oh, all right. It was just y'all bad. Yo, I wasted my man's time with this shit. No, I, I take this shit personal now. Like I don't play around with this shit. So an apology, it ain't I ain't I ain't full of handshakes and the high fives now. When for all we know, the motherfuckers that did this shit could have asked me that question. I don't know. Cause that shit got asked on TikTok. I don't know. Mm. You know what I mean? But I'm not full of handshakes and the high fives now. I didn't ask my man to do this shit. He could have been doing something else. I got it's so much other shit that's layered into this shit that our lives could be in a different position right now. Right the fuck now can be in a different position. But because somebody want to do something, you know what I mean? You can halt what's going on with me, delay, delay the, 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 the situation that's going on with us. And I just have like, yo, I'm sorry. You know what? Listen, man. Yo, pressure bus pipes or make diamonds and we diamonds. No, I don't, I'm not for that. I don't care about that. Yeah. And, um. Man, these niggas fumbled again. Yo, they killing these motherfuckers. He's got the ball back. My bad. Go ahead. Yeah, then, um, <laughs> yeah, so, what would you do if the motherfuckers came and apologized, dog? Because that's what I, that, the, 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 that, how I answered the question was, it depend on what ISO want to do. That's what I said. It depend on what my man want to do, because if he say did that shit, I might did that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know what? I'm, I'm going to keep that I'm gonna keep that to myself. Okay, okay, cool. I'm gonna keep it to myself. Okay, cool. Because you're right. <laughs> <laughs> keep that to myself. Because then he's like, you got the fucking early night so the paperwork right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At least we're reading the goddamn paperwork. Yo, yeah, you know dog. what I'm saying? But, um, I, they try to stop. Listen, they try to stop us from getting my my, my home inside. And I was thinking about this the other day, man. Now, I mean, the way things is going, like I said, um, it's just taking us longer to get to. It started taking us longer to get to where we at, but we we gonna get where we going. We gonna mm -hmm. get there, like I said. Mm -hmm. Instead of all right, y'all didn't want to, y'all want to stop us from getting anything. So mm -hmm. we are now. I want everything now. Like I'm telling y'all, when I when we get there, 
I'm going to burn the motherfucker down. Mm. I don't want to hear we're all black and we need to be all working together and let that shit go. Right. Now, I mean, that's why I say I understand what they're, even though that's a more severe situation than what this is and what we going through, I understand that we just can't let something go. Oh, you're successful, so just let it go. Oh, man, we getting all these views and things is looking up for us. And I mean, it's inevitable that we going to get to where we at. We just going to let it go. No, I'm coming for everything. And I don't want to hear that. Yo, man, uh, let it go because you're in a better position now. And then and then y'all top dogs now. So we should all work together as black people. I don't right. want to hear that. We all black shit because we was all black when these motherfuckers was trying to, trying to slow us down. Right. Thanks. We all black now. We've been black. Fucking been black. So was any of them motherfuckers weren't thinking about that? Let me not do this to 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 to, to my fellow black people that's right. trying to do. Know what I mean? Right. Know what I mean that's trying to make moves and trying to do something positive and trying to. They didn't give a fuck. No. Ain't none of them gave a fuck. Right. So I don't want to hear it when I get on my shit. Right. And I will get on my shit. You see, that's another thing too. Like I'm not. I'm not as involved in the young the that shit gotta be like mainstream for me to hear a lot of these, you know what I mean, uh kids songs. I'm not I, excuse me, I don't wanna disrespect y'all say y'all kids. A lot of the newer rapper songs. So I don't know what happened behind the scenes where it could have been a song where Odell ain't rapping about Vine. You know what I mean? Cause that's that's trap, right? Yeah. It could have been a song where they rapping about Vine. And I gotta hear this shit all day. Or they doing this. You know what I mean? So we don't we don't know what's going on, man. Just like just like with the situation with us. I don't, man. Like I said, I, that's that's how I answer the question, man. It's up to I so. Cause how I feel, motherfucker, stay the fuck away from me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, how yeah, I yeah, feel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stay the I fuck was, away from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be, yo, no, nah, we gonna dash this water under the bridge and mm-hmm. talk. No, nah, don't don't bother talking to me. Right. Bro. Stay the fuck away from me. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gotta be in the same. Right. We ain't got to do nothing together or come together to do nothing. And that's kind of how it is with me. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. And I'm fully and I'm fully prepared for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm fully prepared for understanding that when we when we get there, it's going to be us and then all the other people are going to be bunched together that was trying to stop. So mm-hmm. it's down to stop us. I understand that. I'm not coming to be like I like like I'm coming to conquer. I'm not coming to be a part of that. I didn't come. Yeah, you be on my podcast and then I'll be on yours. No, we are coming to conquer. We will be number one and the rest of y'all motherfuckers fall wherever the fuck y'all fall at. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to happen. It's going to happen. You can't stop this. Mm -hmm. You can't. Y'all been trying and you still can't. Now, I mean, we got y'all switched up how y'all do y'all thing. Know what I mean? All this goddamn team up shit, and everybody want to be super friends now, right. and everybody want to switch shit up and switch a line right. up, up and see what can happen and all this and that. I know that's because of us. Mm-hmm. I know all that's because of our success. Cause I said if it didn't matter, y'all wouldn't be going through the great lengths that y'all go through. Right. Now everybody dropped their shit early in the morning. Before my because we told you all that shit. shit. Know what I'm saying? Everybody dropped their shit early in the fucking morning now. Switching that shit right up. Didn't mm-hmm. make no sense. We told y'all it didn't make no sense. Right. Don't make no sense to drop your shit no 7, 8 o'clock at night. What sense do that make? Right. What sense do that make? You have to, y'all have to integrate and become in people's everyday lives. When people wake up on Tuesday, our podcast is there when they wake yep. up. Like we say, everybody know how their day going to start. Y'all know how your day going to end. You might plan on listening to the episode, but it never listen, then just don't get around to it. Mm-hmm. That's how I am. It's people that drop at night that I just I just might miss the episode. Because by the time it came out, I'm already doing something and I ain't got time to stop and listen. Right. Now, if it dropped in the goddamn morning, and that's the first thing I did, cause because remember, most, most people don't turn the TV on no more. I don't turn the TV on anymore. I listen to, I, I, I listen to content. Mm. Certain, certain, certain podcasts and stuff come out, that's what I listen to. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, listen, I, don't I don't watch the TV like that. Right. No more. So, like I said, man, um, 
Yeah, man, it's it's us and them. Mm -hmm. I don't ever plan on being a part of nothing they trying to do. I don't want to be around them. I don't need to talk. We don't need to. We don't need to hash nothing out. It's past that because why would I? If y'all plan, I mean, some of these people's plans was to stop everything we doing, and then and then these the, all these same people get in front of a camera and say. Man, I'm for black people, and then we trying to help each other, and you know it's enough money for everybody. Then behind the scenes, do all this bullshit, right? So how's all that just gonna be? Oh no, everything is cool. You just tried to fucking stop us for the last two goddamn years, right? Oh, however, time and everything we did, everything we try to do, you get fucking wind of it and try to slow us down. Whenever we when something. If we put a goddamn clip up and the clip do too well, motherfuckers that hit up Instagram or whoever and then shit get flagged. Mm -hmm. Man, what we do? Now I mean y'all, y'all see how our YouTube look? The better, the better and better and better, the better we do. It makes it like we got less and less and less views. Mm -hmm. Should have say two views, but have like a million views. I got their subscribers done said goddamn. That shit said twelve hundred for goddamn for for long we've been on YouTube. He said this shit's almost at three million. By the way, help us get to three million. Everything you do, remember when they should send us emails. If I say yo, thank y'all for the for the views we got, we got such and such thousands, hundreds of thousands of views. We used to get emails sent to us to say, can y'all please stop talking about y'all views? Because they code of conduct. How's our code of conduct when people celebrating their wins? People got their plaques in the goddamn background. We still ain't get on YouTube plaque. So that's not... So if I say, thank y'all for the, for, the, for the million subs, can y'all please not talk about that? Why are we getting, why, 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 why are we getting in emails talking about that? Because can y'all please stop doing that? Because that discourages other people. How does that discourage other people? It's people on here getting what we getting in a goddamn year in a goddamn week. You got Mr. Beast and all of them getting fucking millions of views. Yeah. Would you going to tell them, well, we 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 made it look like that's not the views y'all get because that discouraged somebody else. We used to just get, oh, I'm telling y'all, we got the emails, the stuff that you were reading and like, yo, why? That don't even make no sense. Right, because somebody don't want us showing that we're successful. Right. How you, how, you get the, how you get the season to assist shit when you talk about yourself? That's crazy. How yeah. you get the season yeah. to assist? Y'all so down talking like, about what y'all like, doing? Not us crazy. saying, not us talking about like, other people. Yeah, like, us talking about our own accomplishments crazy, and the like. number of the views we get. Y'all please stop doing that. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to get in trouble if we continue to talk about our success. Yeah, like, not know. somebody, not say somebody else's name out of our mouths. Our own success. Right. That's wild. Yeah, but that's this. Listen, man. Um, y'all ain't want to give us anything, so we gonna come. We coming for everything. Yep. That's all. That's all. When Galactus get there, Galactus gonna eat. Yeah. Everything. No doubt. Galactus eats everything. So that's just what it is. You know what I mean? But anyway, man. Um. We're pretty much done with this one, man. Like I said, man, everybody been talking about it for the whole weekend. Now, what's going on with Dirk? And like I said, man, that's why the signs say walk with us on this because it's just ain't as simple as he's successful, so he was dumb for what he did. Now, mm -hmm. I mean, some people just, and I, and I know some, some of y'all out there, if something happened, it's, it's, it's certain people in y'all like that, if something happened to them, y'all can't just forgive it. No. Now, y'all may not be the type of person to go to, these type of extremes, but you not, but you're going to be upset and not, you might not ever talk to a person. You might, if I ever seen that person, I don't know what I would do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, because I feel like that. Right. It don't matter if I'm successful. If something happens to certain people like that, if something happened to them, it don't matter how much money I may have or how successful I am. I may not just be to just eat that. Right. So I'm not saying it's right, but I'm saying I understand. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's all, man. Um, yeah, yeah. We pretty, I'm pretty much done with this one. Yeah, man. But to the whole, what would y'all do? To, uh, what, what, how, how would y'all handle the people that's 
that's been trying to slow y'all down or blackball y'all or get y'all out the way or uh, stop, kill y'all motion. Listen, man, they ain't want to give us anything, so I'm coming for everything. As it should be. That's all. I'm, 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 coming, I'm coming for everything. As it should be. You know what I mean? They don't even know. Listen, man, we appreciate y'all. We thank y'all. Uh, the fan base that we got. Um, I just saw that we popped up on another podcast audio platform. You know what I'm saying? And that joint already got, we already got like 1,500 reviews on that joint. So, like, damn, thank y'all, yeah, man. Yeah, because you got all them, yeah. we get all them <laughs> reviews. Like, yeah, like. That's how I know. Yeah. When you go to Apple Podcasts, it's it's been the same reviews. Right, right. It's been the same reviews since like last year. Yeah. I know we get reviews, they just don't pop up. Right. Just like we still ain't on the charts. Right. They been took us off the charts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's but that's crazy to me. We gonna take all that off, but then you but you can still access us on them sites. So right. I guess people are like, well, what you you can't you can't complain. You know yeah. what I mean? Cause I know I'm, I'm looking like that. Nobody cause I, because that 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 reminds me. Cause I be like, yo, man, can y'all leave a review. I know y'all leaving reviews, we just can't see them. Right. Just like on YouTube, I know y'all leaving comments, but when you go on YouTube, you can't see them. Right. They don't right. even show our views. Right. They don't, they don't even show our real views. Yeah, so, we go live. The live look weird. Yeah. The live don't even look like how a normal, normal live look. I just recently went to somebody live to see how that shit look too. Our joint don't look nothing like that. Dude, we don't even get the chat. Yeah. We don't even get the chat. The chat don't even pop up. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't even go back and forth with y'all in the chat. They kind of like, yeah, it's like, man, it don't matter. Like I said, it don't matter though, man. It don't matter because it's not stopping nothing. Right. You know right. what I mean? You trying to you, you, you trying to kill the most. It's not stopping nothing, man. It's not stopping nothing, man. And like I said, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear we all black when I when we get there. When we get there, I don't want to hear we all black and then just, yo, yo, man, just let that go. And then we can all be friends and kumbaya. No. No. Right. No. Right. Well, you right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. I mean, we do appreciate y'all. We thank y'all for everything. And we out of here, y'all. Peace.